two. Welcome back, WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and WNST.net. I got the purple out right now, getting ready for the Houston Texans. I'm back from Cincinnati. Got a guy here that I have seen in uh, various spots wearing purple garb from London to New Orleans and everywhere in between. He uh, locally serves business people and, uh, and people who want to save their money and people just like you and me. Raskin Global, empowering people to choose their financial future. I've gotten to know Leonard Raskin around town because, let's be honest, bro, we're both Raven maniacs, right? And this is not a bad time to be a Raven fan right now. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day in Baltimore. Well, yeah, and, you know, the whole... Uh, Lamar Jackson, from drafting to where we are right now, all of the twists and turns in the plot, and Joe Flacco, and the dearly departed like Eric Weddle we'll see two weeks from now, and C.J. Mosley. Man, the off-seasons create such conversation for six, eight months, you know, where there's no football, and then you have to go out there, and then the measurement comes, and I think Lamar Jackson is past the growth mindset, right, of... Was he better than yet last year? Yes. In, in how many ways? Virtually every way. And I know all of us are trying to get better year to year, day to day, month to month. But with Lamar Jackson, it's very, very obvious he's taken another step here. He worked, clearly worked hard. I mean, let's face it, the, the guy could run. He could run last year. He could run in college. He could throw in college, but it's a different game. But to see him uh, come out first play, against the Bengals and blow out a 50-yard pass, drop a dime right in on Hollywood Brown. That was pretty special. <laughs> and, and, and then the play, I think, that epitomized his growth was the standing in the pocket, taking the hit, throwing a touchdown to Brown. Uh, just just beautiful quarterback play. And, and we don't have to talk about the run. You know, the run's just crazy. Well, the, the run is otherworldly, and the minute it happened, I said, that's an instant classic. I think Harbaugh put it in perspective after the game for the media, but clearly, if you saw any of the video on Monday, he went over to Lamar on the bench, coached him up. You know, we've all been, especially at this point in our lives, guys like you and I, young people like you and I, we've all been mentors, <laughs> right? And we've all been mentees, right? We've all been told we've done a good job, we both have been told we're the biggest boobs on earth, and we're, we're never going to figure anything out, right? It, it depends who it is but coach Harbaugh the the maturation of what we've seen as an organization here to do something no one else would do to go out on a limb and take a running quarterback then to build the entire organization around him then to have the conviction and stand behind it and then to have the kid actually step up fix his footwork fix his throwing motion listen to James Irvin study film, you know, be, be, be just not a, a, a good quarterback, but a premier athlete. I mean, I'm starting to compare him to Michael Jordan. Leonard, I've been on the radio at 28, 29 years now. I, I don't think I've ever compared anyone to Michael Jordan other than Michael Jordan because he was, much like Lamar Jackson, a set of one. That's kind of heady stuff a year and a half into it. But when you're doing things like that play in Cincinnati on Sunday – I've never seen that. I, none of us have ever seen that. And now that we've seen it once, you know what? As I wrote at WNSD, we want to see it again. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, that, that wasn't just a spin. I mean, that was a long run before the spin, a long run after the spin. Nobody could touch the guy. Nobody could catch the guy. And, and I think the big thing is listening to these uh, opposing coaches and opposing players after the game to what <laughs> they have to say. They're, they're just stunned. I mean, these people have been in football – long time and and uh you know they, they haven't seen anything like that they, they underestimated his speed they underestimated his arm they underestimated his ability listening to the announcers on the cincy game that they had uh andy dalton <laughs> acting as lamar during practice I mean, come on. That's not a real good scout team look. They might have uh, yeah. called my pal Anthony <laughs> Wright and brought him back from the uh, Fantennial a couple of weeks ago. Leonard Raskin is here. Raskin Global, empowering people to choose their financial future. Uh, look, I've known you around town for years and years. You've been a Facebook friend, a follower. We've been linked in. We're linked together. We see each other at various events around town. And um, you know, People want to take care of their money, right? And it's guys like you, and I know a whole bunch of f folks like you who do this. You've been at more out in front with the Ravens and locally and in spaces that I am and I think you have a unique look at, at the way Raskin Global does things as well. Absolutely. We, we do money different, you know. We, we've got that B Like the button. Ravens offense. <laughs> there you go. we got the B button. The, the, the thing is, people don't understand what they don't understand. And 
think they know money because they earn money. Everybody earns money, and everybody's got that friend or brother or broker or whoever it is that says this is what you do with money. The problem is most people just don't know what they don't know, and that's where we come in. We sit down with people. We help them figure out what they're doing, what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. And as a fee-based consulting firm, we don't have a product to sell that says this is why you come to us to get something that we've got that's better than everybody else's. You come to us to hear what you're doing, to figure out if you're doing it properly, and if you're not doing it right, how to implement financial strategy that gets it right. We quantify it, we test it, we measure it, and we show results. And when we show results, people get better financial futures, and that's what we're all about. We're about helping people this generation, the next generation that they don't even know yet, to, to do the things that they never understood they could do uh, and do it better than they ever thought they could. In regard to you guys and, and, and someone calls you, right? Like, you've been doing this a long time. What's the most common thing you see when someone calls and says, yeah, I got a 401K or I got money in my, my you know, credit fund or in my Christmas fund or in my savings account or I bought some stocks or I have some company? I mean, you hear all of these different messages, but what's the yep. common thing when someone rings your phone at Raskin? Well, what people want more than anything else is peace of mind and comfort. No matter who's in the White House, no matter who's in the Congress, no matter what's going on in the economy. No matter who the mayor people, is when I live in Baltimore, people, right? <laughs> people are worried that they're going to lose their money. And the, the general person that calls us has two things on their mind. How do I educate my kids and how do I retain comfortably? That's the biggest thing people care about when they call. And... Our goal is to help them understand how to do that and how to do it, as I said, in a position where when, when the strategies are in, they can put their head on the pillow and not worry about what's going on in the market, not worry about what's going on uh, in the economy, not worry about what's going on in the city, the state, the country, knowing that they're doing the right thing with their money. And if they just take their time and, and don't react to every blip and noise that long-term Financially, they'll be fine. That's Let, what it's about. Leonard Raskin's been my pal. He's been around town for a number of years. You've probably seen him at Raskin Global, empowering people to choose their financial future. You can learn more about everything they do out of Raskin Global. I'm connected to Leonard on, on Facebook and on LinkedIn and all sorts of places out in the, uh, in the social sphere. But we're getting together talking some football here. You will hear him talking about his business here at WNSD, and we're delighted to have him on as a partner. I'm delighted that we're into a Raven season where – we're starting to like clear the deck in January, right? Like I'm, I, I have a little plan. I, I gave up the Buffalo game. My wife and I are, are going away. I'm not going to the Buffalo game. Uh, as you know, we went out to Seattle. I was in Cincinnati traveling around. I'll be in L.A. next week as well. Th this is where it really gets exciting, where you look at the rest of the AFC. You look at Tennessee doing this with Ryan Tannehill. You see Indianapolis getting beaten. You see Kansas City not looking to be what they are, especially defensively. Um this is where you start to get the visions of, hey, they're in Miami Beach in early February, and if we stay healthy, we got a real puncher's chance here to win a couple of football games in January and paint this season as something different than any of us thought it was going to be six or eight weeks ago. Absolutely. I mean, I don't want to don't, don't want to get too ahead of yourself and feel like, ah, oh, here's another one. But I got to tell you, I have a good friend who uh, we shared a, a nice little friendly wager over the uh, last Ravens Super Bowl and he's coming to town for the the Ravens Niners game on December 1st and and we've had a little chit chat at another Super Bowl wager maybe <laughs> Well, I mean, they had the undefeated thing going on, you know, in the Monday night, and that, that was sort of a miraculous football game, that seattle Sanford. It was a great weekend of football, right? I mean, all the way around, right? Alabama getting beat, the Ravens doing what they're doing, the Steelers-Rams game was good. You know, all the games have been good. Even Sunday night game was great, the Dallas-Minnesota game. Um, the, you know, as much as the NFL got rocked a little bit by London, it's gotten rocked a little bit with empty seats, it's, uh, you know, it's, I think it's gotten rocked by its own largeness. You know, I don't know how much bigger football can get and the, the officiating's been stinky you know this pass interference call all of that going on yet here we are getting up on you know turkey and pumpkin pie our team has a chance and by and large a pretty good year for the league you know what I mean like the NFC is a bunch of good teams the NFC is awesome I agree they, they certainly look strong and the thing is 
these uh, pundits out there, and I think for a day, Lamar was the MVP. And, <laughs> and then after Monday Night Football, I think it went back to Russell Wilson being the MVP. <laughs> you never know day to day what they're going to do. Well, hey, Lamar's going right. to be plenty of FaceTime, right? I mean, Absolutely. big game this week, Monday Night game next week. They play the Jets on a Thursday night. In just, I mean, these games are all going to be major spot. I mean, that San Francisco uh, Ravens game three weeks from now, that's going to be the game of the week. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Yeah, you think they're going to move that and make it a 4 o'clock game? Mm, you know, how much national TV do they want to have Lamar Jackson <laughs> on? Uh, my, my guess is a whole lot, a whole lot. And, you, you know, Leonard, what I said to everybody this week about the Lamar play, the Lamar-arama, or whatever we're going to call that thing that he did Sunday, no one saw that play live, right? Like, that wasn't a red zone play. They're playing an 0-9 team. It's a 30-point ball game. You know, it's a sleepy kind of throwaway game. We had throwaway announcers, you know, the whole deal, right? But everybody has seen that play. That's the power of the NFL is that when it becomes live TV against the Jets, in the third quarter, and we're winning 30-10, to 10, that's what keeps ratings, that you might see something you would never see, right? That's it. I, I think I read or heard just in the last couple of days, his, his jersey sales are, are way He's got to be the up. number one jersey in the league right now, right? I, I think I heard it was number from like 17 to 2 in two weeks. And uh, if you, I'm sure you caught the, the Harbs talk with him on the sidelines. Uh, he talked about how there's going to be a lot of kids wearing number eight coming up playing quarterback, wanting to be Lamar Jackson. And what more can you say than that? And as you said, for the live country, for the country to be able to see what he's doing just the way these other teams are seeing it. And at a Thursday night, a Monday night, I mean, it doesn't get more exposure. It doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get bigger than that. Uh, and let's face it, locally, locally, this guy's got the opportunity to, to own this town, right? He... I mean, everybody Everybody loved Joe. Joe was a, Joe's a great guy. Everybody loved Joe. But towards the end there, it's like, okay, come on, Joe. And then they put Lamar in. Everybody's kind of skittish. Is this guy going to do it? Is he going to step up? And, and now, this far into this season, there's no fluke there. This guy's got talent. He's got arm talent. He's got pocket talent. He's got, obviously, foot talent. And uh, he, he can own Baltimore. He can, he can take this on. Uh, he's got a great opportunity in front of him uh, to just to just win over what's going on around here. Thirteen and three as a starter. Leonard Raskin from Raskin Global, empowering people to choose their financial future. Joining us, you can find them out on Facebook. You find Leonard anywhere uh, that uh, that the Facebook and the LinkedIn and uh, the, the RaskinGlobal.com brand takes you. Last thing for you, how about that Heisman package? Huh? I mean, uh, we were waiting for that, and someone wrote. I may have been Mike Freeman or somebody on on the web wrote. There's only a hundred things they could do out of that package, right? Like the next time those three guys walk on the field. Uh, you know, Katie bar the door as far as what they're, what Greg Roman is out on the backfields and Owings Mill uh, uh, drawing up in the dirt for him, right? That, that was funny to see. I mean, when, when they walked on the field together, that play started, they said, RG3 is in the game. Of the game. Where's, where's Lamar? What happened? They got all three of them in there. That, that was a stunning formation. And, and my goodness, you know, would, would he run for, run for five or six before he pitched? He had the first down before he pitched to RG3. Who knows what they're going to do? They could do crazy passes. Uh, you know, RG three had a had a pretty good mop up game. He had that one that one throw where he had a man deep down the sideline. He he had him. He just underthrew it a foot, and they picked it off. But my goodness, what they can play out of that set is is a whole other thing. Flip to him, throw to Ingram. Uh, has any other team? I don't think any other teams ever had two. Has they ever had two more or less three? On the field, same time. Well, we had two, right? <laughs> At various well, yeah. points, right? Um, uh, Leonard Raskin is here. We're getting ready for some football this weekend. The Houston Texans coming into town. Everything's out in the buyatoyota.com audio vault. I want to remind everybody on Monday night, we're going to have Josh Bynes up at Adams Jeep swabbing for the Bone Marrow Registry and our friends uh, creating some awareness for There Goes My Hero. Leonard, I also appreciate all that you did to support my wife a couple years ago during her leukemia battle as well. So we're out here. We're together. We're looking forward to having you on the air with us, talking a little bit of football. I'm sure I'll see you around town as well as we get into what we affectionately know here, non-denominationally, of course, as festivist season, right? Absolutely. 
Let it Raskin, Raskin Global, empowering the people to choose their financial future. You can find out all they do at Raskin Global. You can find me out on the web, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Instagram, streaming live on our Facebook, talking Lamar, talking a little bit about the uh, the Orioles offseason and the Terps getting ready to play some basketball as well. We got you covered, including Baltimore Positive, Thiru Vignaraja joining us at Fadeleys this week for Baltimore Positive. We're doing a myriad of different um, uh, conversations for when I'm going away a little later on in the month before that Buffalo game, so get ready for that. Only one guy I'd leave Lamar for, and that's probably Bono at this point, so... There you have it. Nasty at WNST.net finds me. Our morning newspaper ships digitally, including with my blog on Lamar Jackson and uh, and never going to sleep on Lamar again. That's up at WNST.net. That's also in our morning newspaper. That's all brought to you by Planet Fitness and PlanetFitness.com. Always $5 down and 10 bucks a month to get in the best shape of your life. We appreciate the Brick family and our partnership with Planet Fitness. Last but never least, breaking news happens first on the WNST tech service. You've been on that. You've known for 13 years. You get it first. It's simple as that. People have been on it for a long time. We don't spam you. It's all brought to you by our friends at Coons Ford Security Boulevard. Dennis Colazzos will be here on Thursday with the aptly titled Dennis Colazzos Show. We've changed the name. Same great content. I'll be here. Luke will be here on Thursday getting you ready for the Houston game. Three until five. Heard again on Sunday mornings. Dennis's uh, new Twitter is D Colazzo Show. You can follow that as well out on Twitter. I am Nestor. We are WNST.net, AM 1570, and WNST, Tassel, Baltimore. And we never stop talking Baltimore sports.